Coming up, you wanna know how to win your morning every morning? Well, first, you need to know what experts say are the five morning habits that can ruin your day. So after 25 years of broadcasting my five-hour radio show six days a week, one of the most consistent questions I get from listeners through email and from Facebook has to do with morning habits. John, how can I win my morning? Or John, I feel like I can never get started in the morning. So based on the hundreds of interviews I've done over the years and the hours and hours of morning mistakes I've made personally, I have compiled a list of the top five habits that will absolutely kill your mornings and ruin the rest of your day. So here we go. The first morning habit that will ruin your day, hitting the snooze button. Sleep expert, Dr. Neil Stanley, has told me that every time we hear an alarm go off while we're sleeping, it triggers our body's fight or flight response, which means the next thing that happens is that your body is flooded with cortisol. That, of course, is the stress hormone. Dr. Stanley says, usually it's not a big deal if you actually wake up and start your day. But he says, if we hit the snooze button and drift back to sleep, then what happens is that we guarantee another jolt of cortisol in nine minutes. And then after a while, when we keep doing this over and over again, there's so much of that stress hormone that it ends up damaging cells. And that, he says, can increase your risk of depression. All of this from the snooze alarm. So this is why sleep experts pretty much all agree that you and I need to set our alarm for the exact time we want to wake up and then always get up at that time. And yes, I know it's very easy to say, harder to pull off every morning. And just so you know, I do get up at 5 a.m. each morning, even on the weekends, but it does take an alarm on my watch plus an alarm clock that I put all the way across the room to get me out of the bed. I used to get up at 8, but I always felt like I was playing catch up for the rest of the day. And by the way, one of the things that really helps me get going in the morning is preparing everything that I need to start the day. So I lay out my clothing right beside the bed. I put my sneakers at the bedroom door. I even prepared the coffee machine the night before, so I just have to flip the switch. My goal is to eliminate any barriers to my five o'clock morning. Most of the time it works. One more thing. I try very hard not to scroll through the news headlines on my phone until I've read 10 pages of a self-help book that's on the Kindle on my phone. I just randomly pick one book, and this morning it was from the book Winning, it's a great book, Winning by fitness trainer Tim Grover. Even if you don't have a book on your phone, you can do what I do too. You go to the website Goodreads, it's one word, Goodreads, and you find amazing passages from self-help books, including the Bible, by the way. So that is the first mistake of five that we can make in the morning, hitting the snooze button. So what's next? Well, I often catch myself making this mistake, not making your day predictable. And experts say this will absolutely ruin your day. So I read part of a research study on my radio show recently from Stanford University. It was about how the right daily routine can put your brain on autopilot. So we switch on that autopilot, it's easier for us to complete our tasks. Basically, it works because when we have that predictable daily routine, especially first thing in the morning, we don't have to use up as much brain power dealing with new situations. That wipes us out, so many new situations. And by the way, this research study also found that when we start our morning with an unpredictable schedule without that autopilot, it messes with our entire day because the more we have to adjust our habits, the more mental energy we burn. It makes sense, right? Which is why if you go to work every day, not knowing what to expect, you're gonna end up exhausted from all of the pivoting and reacting. So the Stanford researchers recommend that no matter what your work life is, that you can make most of your day predictable by scheduling things like your wake up time, your meal times, even your phone checking time, and especially your bedtime. So again, the second habit that can kill your mornings is not making your day predictable. Now, the third morning habit that can ruin your day, not making your bed. One of my favorite authors is Charles Duhigg. I love everything that he's done. He wrote the book, The Power of Habit. And in one of the chapters, he declares that if you and I leave the house without making our bed, we're basically starting the day with a small but very meaningful failure. He says, making the bed is our first organizational task of the day. And he believes that if we don't make our bed before leaving the bedroom, then it's downhill from there for the rest of the day. In his book, Duhigg says, making our bed every morning leads to higher levels of productivity and even more happiness. Why would this have such a huge effect? Because just making our bed gives us a sense of being prepared and in control. It's basically the first thing we claim control of. He calls the making of the bed ritual a keystone habit. 
Keystone habits are those behaviors that create a chain reaction that will end up influencing all of our other habits and behaviors during the day. Now here's something else. Gretchen Rubin wrote a book called The Happiness Project, and she told me during a recent interview that when she was researching the things that make people happy, she was shocked when she discovered that the number one change that people brought up over and over again was starting the day by making their bed. Ruben says she believes that as ridiculously simple as it sounds, just making your bed ends up being an opportunity to feel proud of yourself first thing in the morning. So this morning tactic is so powerful that Navy SEAL Commander William McRaven wrote a best-selling book about making your bed. It's called Make Your Bed. Here's what he says, and I'm gonna quote him. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. By the end of the day, he says, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made, that you made, and a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. If you want to change the world, he says, start off by making your bed. Again, that book is called Make Your Bed. It's by Admiral William McRaven. It's actually from a speech that was given at Princeton University many years ago. Okay, here we go with the fourth morning habit that can ruin your day. And it is this, not getting sunlight first thing in the morning. I made this mistake. According to neurologist Dr. Anne-Marie Chang, if you're sleeping through your alarm or waking up at all hours, it's a pretty good indication that you need to reset your body clock. So why is early morning sunlight so powerful? Dr. Chang says it's because sunlight bounces off the backs of our eyes, activating our internal time clock back to a 24-hour sleep and wake cycle. Also, Dr. Katherine Rocklin is a psychology professor at the University of Pittsburgh. Now, she's an expert on how light affects our mood. She says natural morning light contains more wavelengths from the blue spectrum, and that spectrum has the most powerful effect on regulating our body clock and hormones. It also tells our brain to wake up, be alert. And by the way, she says, even an overcast day has 20 times more light outside than what we get with indoor lighting. So again, Finding a way to get some sunlight first thing in the morning is a crucial tip for winning your morning. And one more note here, as I've mentioned, I'm up at 5 a.m. every morning and the sun is not up for another hour and a half. So I did this, I purchased one of those light therapy lamps. You've seen these, they simulate sunlight. I turn this thing on when I'm having my coffee in the morning. The lights are 20 bucks on Amazon. This brings us to the fifth habit that can very easily ruin the rest of your day and that is not drinking enough water. So it makes sense that after seven to eight hours of sleep that our body is going to be dehydrated first thing in the morning. It's even worse if, like me, you sleep with your mouth open. Dr. Casey Kelly keeps telling us over and over again that drinking a couple of glasses of water first thing in the morning will help you think more clearly in the morning and throughout the day. According to Dr. Kelly, dehydration is the primary reason for brain fog and headaches. So having a glass of water or two is a great way to boost mental performance, she says, first thing in the morning. Dr. Kelly also says, quote, even mild dehydration is linked with short-term memory loss and concentration. Bottom lining this, wake up each morning, even before your coffee, if you just drink one to two glasses of water right away, you'll be on your way to a morning win. So there you go, the five morning habits that can ruin your day. And you know, while I was putting together this uh, list, I realized that I needed to include one more bonus tip because in many ways, this one can be more powerful than all the rest and I love using it. Ready? Not reflecting on your blessings can ruin your day. This is a big mistake that we can make in the morning. So listen to this, Duke University scientists say, reflecting on our blessings when we first wake up or even better, writing our blessings in a journal will reduce our risk of exhaustion and even feelings of anxiety and depression by a full 80%, that's a huge number. The researchers say even just thinking about the things you're grateful for when you first wake up stimulates the body's parasympathetic nervous system, that's the body's network of nerves that help you stay calm, clear-headed, and energized. The scientists found that being intentional about counting our blessings in the morning is like hitting the reset button on our brain. And from my experience, the act of writing down blessings in a journal by the bed has the biggest effect on me. So there you go, my list of the five morning habits that can ruin your day, plus the bonus tip.
And you should know there's only so much I could squeeze into this short video, but after I pulled my radio show and online audience of more than 5 million followers, I found that a large percentage of them were interested in me creating an entire course on more of my own personal strategies for how to win your morning. So for the last couple of months, I've been working hard to create what many of you have been asking for. I'm just a couple of weeks away from being ready to launch. And if you'd like to be the first to be notified the moment my course launches, will you please just click the link in the description of this video to join my waiting list. And I want you to know as a bonus, those who join this waiting list will also receive an early bird discount when the course launches. I promise you this course is going to teach you the start to finish method of my winning morning routine that over the last five decades has produced a massive amount of success and purpose and even prosperity. I'll show you my proven morning life hacks. I'll show you how to use visualization to see your future in mind. And I'll also reveal the scriptures and prayers I use to create incredible momentum every day. If you're interested and you want to be notified when my win your morning course is ready to go, go ahead and click below, put in your best email, and I'll be sure to let you know.